Welcome to the homework for Lesson 7. This is Module 5 of Grade 1. Name goes here first, please. Are the shapes divided into equal parts? Write Y for yes or N for no. If the shape has equal parts, write how many equal parts there are on the line. The first one's been done for you. Well, this looks like these two pieces are equal. Yes, and there's two of them. Now here we have two different pieces. We have one here and one there. The one's a lot bigger than the other, so this is a no. And there's, if it has equal parts, right? How many equal parts are on the line? There, since it's a no, I'm not going to write any number there. And uh, this looks like an oval. And one of the, this piece here is way bigger than the other piece. So and you don't have to shade your pieces in like I am. I am just have to do that to show so that you know what it is I'm talking about. That piece is way bigger than the other piece. Uh, so that's a no. This triangle has two pieces, and they both, the left and the right, they both look the same. So I'm going to say yes, and there's two of them. And this square has, has been divided up into four equal triangles. So I would say those pieces are all the same, and there are four of them. This rectangle, these pieces look the same so I'm gonna say yes and there's two of them now here's a triangle that's split up but you can tell one piece is really skinny and the other piece isn't so there's no way for me to I'm gonna say no and with a circle um, one of the tricks for dividing circles into equal parts is that think about the center of a circle there's a point right in the middle of the circle that's the center. Now, if, if the parts, the lines that divide the parts all have to go through the center or come out from the center to the edge of the circle to be equal. And it's, you might think that these pieces look like they're equal, but you can tell these pieces here are longer than the ones on the ends. There's just no telling if they're equal or not. So I'm just going to say no. Uh, this looks like, if you think this is the same as that, then you have two equal triangles. So that would be yes, and there's two equal parts. Uh, this trapezoid here, it looks like this part is a little bit bigger than the other part. So no. And here we have a hexagon. And it looks like that's half and that's half. So it looks like these pieces are all equal. So I'll say yes, and there's four of them. And we've seen this before. Uh, hexagon chopped up into six triangles because if the pattern blocks, you can use six of the triangles and put them together to make a hexagon. So that's a yes. As long, and it, a lot like the circle. Right, remember the circle, the trick was it has to go through the center of the circle, and here we have the center, and here these all touch in the center of the hexagon. So that's something that helps, helps you to see it. So that's six pieces. And then now uh, this star looks like the, there's a line of symmetry right here, and it looks like that's about... The two pieces look like they're the same on either side, so I'll say yes, and that's two. And now this star has, it looks like it's gone corner to corner, but you can tell that this top half is way bigger than that bottom half. So that's, and so that these pieces are not equal. And here it says, draw one line to make two equal parts. And so I'm going to take, for a triangle, 
the, only, the way to do it is to take look at one of the sides here. I'm going to take this side just for an example and say pick a spot that's about halfway. It's right in the middle of that line. I'm going to say right about there. Just do the best you can. And then draw a line from one corner right to that spot. And that's how you're going to get. Now that's a really crummy line. <laughs> That's a really crummy line. And maybe I didn't pick, do such a good job of picking a halfway spot. And I just can't get my marker on that corner. Here we go. And that's as close as I can get it. If you use a ruler or something for a straight edge to draw your picture, you'll probably do a lot better than I did. Uh, and you can try folding it too. Um... But these, uh, I would have two triangles, right? Now draw two lines to make four equal parts. There's a lot of ways to do this. I mean, you can make like kind of a giant plus sign like that. As long as those are, you know, right about in the middle of these sides. Get it as close as you can. You could also do it now for two lines to make four equal parts. You can do it with three lines, but for two lines, you can also do it with three lines. But for two lines, you could also do it like this and go corner to corner and make kind of a big X. That will also work. And you're going to end up making four. Uh, you, you might make it this way. You do it this way, you're going to have four triangles. If you do it the other way, you're going to have four rectangles. So if you did this way, it's triangles. And then uh, draw lines to make six equal parts. So one of the tricks here is figure out where the center is. You could either do it this way and then draw lines out from the center to each corner like that and you'll have it or you can also just if you have a, a, a use a straight edge which I highly recommend uh, especially coming from someone who has a hard time drawing straight lines here's one you can just draw lines from opposite corners like that And you'll end up with this exact same thing, making six triangles. There is another way to do it that you might not think of. And it doesn't make triangles. Now you've seen some of it before. And for an example, I'm going to show you, think about this piece right here. Now you can do this with two more lines. That idea, here's what it's going to look like. If you think about halfway in between, halfway in between, and halfway in between, you can get six equal parts now these shapes have a name um, you can call them quadrilaterals because they're four straight sides and they're closed and they're flat we can call them if you do this but there's also a special name for this particular kind of quadrilateral and it's it's weird you're not going to hear about it in class if you think of it but it, there is a name if you think about this shape what is it it, it might remind you of something let me draw another just a picture of it off to the side here and i'll give you a hint it's 
called a kite. If this side, this side and that side are equal, and these two long sides are equal, this is actually called a kite. So you can do it with triangles or you can do it with kites. You can call them quadrilaterals too.